what is going on YouTube so coming back today with another NFL preview so I decided to do three more individual team previews um, these are probably gonna be the last three I do I said I was originally gonna do five but anyway today I wanted to jump into the Indianapolis Colts and I really wanted to talk about them in a video I already did the preview on my website but my favorite team and I got a lot to say for them so recap the format that I've been doing for my previews three key players the worst case scenario best case scenario and then overall record prediction so let's start with the first of my three key players and this one's obvious Andrew Luck so Andrew Luck signed to a new six year 140 million dollar contract 87 million guaranteed record highest paid player in NFL history and guaranteed money so did he deserve it is a different thing what will happen with him this year Colin Cowherd actually just said today that he would bet his job on the fact that Andrew Luck wins MVP this year I, I wouldn't go that far but I do think Andrew Luck's going to come back motivated he's actually healthy the Colts offensive line is better uh, which will carry into my next key player but um, as long as he's got the support of a decent run game, you know, he's still got one of the better receiving cores in the AFC or just in the NFL as a whole. So see if he can finally put, not finally, but see if he can put a full season together and improve off um, what was his worst season in the NFL so far last year. So second key player, Ryan Kelly, the rookie center out of Alabama. Now this might seem like a weird key player to have, but I think this guy really is the key to maybe finally completing a transformation of this offensive line. Again, Colts offensive line would have been one of the worst in football for the past two or three years. Um, you know, they really invested a lot in the offensive line in the draft and were able to pick up most notably Ryan Kelly and then also LaRaven Clark. You know, Kelly was the highest drafted center, highest rated center in this draft. I think that he can lead a big turnaround. They're going to need him to because in my mind right now, the only real good offensive lineman they have is Anthony Costanzo. So my third key player, and there's two ways I would, there's two ways I could really go on defense, but I'm going to say Mike Adams. So pro bowl safety, a guy that, you know, has actually been very good for the Colts since he arrived in Indianapolis. I could have gone with Vontae Davis, but I think both of them need to be big and secondary for this team to have a good year. You know, this is a division with the rapidly improving quarterback play. Um, you know, the Texans should have better quarterback play out of Brock Osweiler this year. Uh, you know, DeAndre Hopkins has developed into one of the best receivers in the NFL. And then the Jaguars, obviously, Blake Bortle is making some noise uh, down in Jacksonville. And then uh, Marcus Mariota should improve this year with Tennessee. So their secondary is going to have to be big. Mike Adams is going to have to help out. Both safeties are going to have to help out in the run game. Um, you know, it's not the strongest division running the ball, but, you know, the Titans should be improved a little bit in that department after they acquired DeMarco Murray. Uh, we'll see if the Jaguars can improve their running game acquiring Chris Ivory. And then also um, the Texans acquiring Lamar Miller. So... Let's get into the worst case scenario for the Colts. And I say it goes the same as last year, because last year was really the worst case scenario for the Colts, and that's 8-8 eight and eight and missed the playoffs. You know, last year was kind of a train wreck of a season. Granted, when it comes to a worst case scenario, if the worst case scenario for a team that's said to not have as good a, or that good of surrounding cast for Andrew Luck um, is worst case 8-8, eight and eight, that, that, that's fine. I'd say best case scenario is 13 and three with a Super Bowl loss, but that's best case scenario. Um, my overall record prediction, I think they get back to 11 and five this year. You know, this Colts team is a very, very good team when Andrew Luck is ready to go fully healthy and motivated. You know, every indication shows that he's fully healthy, ready to go the season already, and he's still got a few more months to prepare. So we'll see. Um, I believe their first preseason game is against the Packers. I want to say on the 7th of August. Um, I need to check up on that to make sure. But probably get your first look at Andrew Luck then uh, for the brand new season and see what he's really looking like this year. But anyway, like I said, uh, I will be continuing this these previews with three teams. This video I just did right here and then also the... Uh, Philadelphia Eagles and the Denver Broncos because I feel like I have a decent amount to say about those teams and I really haven't talked about those teams much um, in, in any other videos this offseason unless it was talking about Carson Wentz. So like I said, 
go check out my website. I've been posting college football or my college football previews, my NFL previews there every single day. Um, the three that I'm posting will already be on there if you want to see them drawn out. Um, but I'll put the link to all those in the description below. And then also check out my Twitter. I just tweet Absolute Sports Fire and then Instagram. Uh, check out that. That is my Stadium Series Tour account. Uh, it's called Best Campuses. And uh, follow and some support on that always helps out. So that's pretty much it. See ya.